Hey, how you doing, everyone? Matt Antonelli here with Antonelli Softball. Uh, today we're talking about outfield drills. We've talked a little bit in the past about this, so definitely check out our other videos. Um, but the drill today is you're going to line your outfielders up in a line, and you're going to have them running across, straight across. Right here, they're running across the 30-yard line. You've got a coach here with the ball, and she's just kind of leading them out there. Um, what you're working on in this drill, and, and one skill of an outfielder that um, is really, really important to have is to have an ability to run at full speed while keeping your head still and your eyes from bobbing up and down. That's one of the things that separates really, really good outfielders from outfielders that, that aren't as good um, is on those balls where you have to take off and run full speed. Can you do it while keeping your head still so the ball isn't bouncing up and down? The really, really good outfielders are able to do that very, very well, and that's the reason why you can see them at full speed making catches on the run, right? They make it look really, really easy. Now, if you're someone that hasn't played a lot of outfield or doesn't feel like you're a great outfielder, that's one of the things that I guarantee stands out is when you run hard, it's more difficult to catch a fly ball, right? Most outfielders or infielders can catch fly balls if they don't have to run hard, right? So routine fly balls, um, balls where you only have to really kind of jog after, easy to catch, right? Almost everybody can catch those. The separator is the ball where you turn, this ball smashed in the gap, and you've got to turn and fly for it, or you've got to run in really, really hard for it, and you're running as hard as you can. You're on a full sprint because that's the only way you're going to catch this ball, and then you have to, at the last minute, reach out and make the catch. That's the difficult ball, um, and that's really the separator, like I said. Really good outfielders make that play consistently, and they make it look easy, whereas outfielders that aren't as skilled don't. So one big thing to do is to work on that in a controlled environment right here. You can do it indoors. You can do it outdoors. You can get a lot of reps in, and it's key to run as hard as you can. I, I see this drill happen a lot, and outfielders don't run hard. Like I said, if you're running 50%, 60%, it's not that difficult to make this play. Where the play gets more difficult is when you're sprinting. Then can you learn how to run on the balls of your feet and keep your head from bouncing up and down and keep your eyes level so that you can make the catch and the ball doesn't look like it's moving all over the place on you. So um, we line our outfielders up and we go to their right like this. Then we go to their left. Um, and then we go straight in. So they'll line up, they'll come sprinting straight at the coach, and you're going to throw the ball right at them. You can work high and low. They can work on turning their glove over and fielding it with their fingers down, with their fingers up. You can go both ways. Uh, but really, really, again, seems like a simple drill, but it is a skill that you must have and must improve. And, you know, when you're trying to get uh, fly ball work in practice, a lot of times you don't have a ton of opportunities to go after balls where you have to run 100%. Um, and so this is a great way to get that work in to make sure that you're getting it in every day at practice. Um, and you can get you know, 10, 20 reps in in each direction pretty quickly. So this is definitely a staple that we use at all of our practices. So let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Give us a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Definitely go and check out our other videos. We're throwing a ton up uh, for everybody. Um, and that's all I got. Thank you so much again for watching. Good luck.